um, a little bit above me. I'll go over the what they ban. Uh, hold on, where's the event list? We'll take that shit down too. We don't give a fuck what happens over here. I'm super excited, dude. Viewer sub games. Hopefully these guys don't suck. We have Daquan. You know what? You, okay, so Vash. If you guys don't know Vash, for whatever reason, Vash was born out of the womb as Zeus. I don't know why. He just has like a million games played on Zeus. So we'll see if the red like the red team have to ban out Vash, but at the same time they have to ban out like the blue team has to ban out Daquan. Damn what son, the fuck? you just hit with the wow effect, bro. Stay with my dude XD. Miss Zena, thank you. Beautiful. I appreciate the twenty five. God bless. Um, but yeah, okay. So the blue team they have to ban out Zero Raptor. And what the? F why is it switching back and forth? It, it it it's throwing me off. You guys see this shit, right? It's like banning, and then it like, bro. I'm actually so confused. See, like, why is it doing? Is that like a new feature on Spectate? Like, what? <laughs> I've ne I've never actually. What the fuck? It's not it's not sub games. It's like sub viewer games. I don't have enough subs yet, so. Whatever, I'll do that. But Director Scar got his op wash. All right, that's what I was gonna say. Director Scar, they have to target ban his op wash, but they didn't. They target ban fucking uh the Morgan. There it is, the Zeus, the Zeus store. Like I was saying, I really don't like this switch back and forth shit though. High res, you gotta actually like stop being fucking stupid. Like I don't understand why they do that. Um, if Zero's not a sub, can I play then? Anyone, anyone could play. Hello, I I just said. For the 10th millionth time, guys, sub view. I know you guys are like brainless monkeys. You guys all just sub or not. Like, I know you guys are all dumb. But yeah, no, honestly, it's a uh, viewer sub games. It doesn't matter. Um, Robin Kunzembo. Okay. Robin actually doesn't bring much to the table. In fact, Blue Team's team comp, if they do lock this in, is just like poopy. Nike. I, I respect the Nike. They can at least dive Zeus. But like Zeus stole already off the bat is just kind of cancer. Sovac. Alright. They're locking in the Sovac. Which, I don't know. Their team comp is like, eh, so far. It's whatever, really. It depends. A direct scroll has to just pop off without posh, honestly. I just want to wax your shit. Cloud, Cloud, you, you did the least damage last game. You poopy. Check Lemonade. Sup, you spring fling basket of old meat motherfucker. What's up, Check Lemonade? I'm gonna have nightmares of Kabrakin with allied face running. Bro, I'm sorry, Mr. T Nasty. I just I know I know what I had to do. Daquan's probably gonna go Wukong here. Cause maybe not. I don't know. His best performance is just so far from what I've seen is Wukong, but Abwash can kinda deal with that. Because like no. Abwash can't deal with that actually. I'm just I'm, i made that up. Silva can deal with that with anti healing if you trust like ult. But uh, that's about it. I think poke wise Nike wins that though. No. I'm not a solely matchup expert, but Nike, in my opinion, I mean, because, like, Nike's won, you slap three times, Wukong only slaps one time. You know what I'm saying? So, like, realistically, if Nike hits three times and Wukong only smacks people once, then Nike should win. But I don't fucking know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm late. Voodoo, how's it going, girly? Welcome back three months in a row. God bless. Why am I sub to you again? All right. I was gonna let you smash Voodoo, but not anymore after saying that. Jesus Christ. You know what? Hurting my feelings. Um, Odin. Daquan actually did pretty de even though like Daquan waxed me in lane because I was Terra, but like his Odin was like doing things also in team fights. So probably works out. Also can cage it op wash and just like fuck him. So it really depends. I wonder if the red team is gonna actually get phantom level one like i say because like i, I don't know most sobex just default meditation because most people don't think about what they're doing in this fucking game so so mukong three murders mike oh yeah that's right i forgot that you know what daquan i don't play soul lane all right but if you want this terra dick come through bro all right come through Oh my god. 
I, I'm getting so confused with the switch back and forth. It's actually like, I really don't even know who on the high res like design team would ever think this was a good idea. There's no reason actually. Like the, the switch back, it, it's just throwing me fucking off so hard. Why is the stream dropping frames? I don't know. It shouldn't be dropping too many frames. That's what's unfortunate. If it if it drops frames this game, I'll probably just call on the stream because I am dropping a unrealistic I've never dropped this much frames before. So So I do apologize. Well, back to bed now. Bye Voodoo. Have a great night's sleep. I think that's Shing Ten's support. Great Apples actually has like two really good gods. And then I don't think I've ever seen him play anything else. Shing Ten support and his Loki jungle, I think it is. I don't know. He went like Loki Sunder and actually did decent. Uh, uh. It's the new gear. It's too I, I guess the key, yeah. The, I have a new keyboard and mouse. I guess it's just way too powerful. I don't know what to do though. Like I looked up everything. My upload's okay. Uh, I'll, ch I'll recheck my upload real quick actually. I'm rechecking the upload. Hopefully it's not too bad. By the way, Time Warner Cable is the devil. That's right, the devil. Actually, it's not even going to get an accurate read. I remember because I'm streaming. Alright, so I apologize about that. I actually didn't finish the rest of Picks and Bands because of that, but... Dropping frames on top of, like, the switching spectator client actually is ruining my life. Has your, P has your PC been on? No, I always shut off my PC when I travel. If I tried unplugging and plugging it back in... Actually, I... I don't know, like, I didn't have to do that, but I don't think that's gonna do anything. I think it's just Time Warner Cable's cucking me right now. So, I'll probably call stream. And I'll just restream later, so... It's not too bad. Yeah, Spectrum. Whatever. I don't know. I, I really don't have anything f like for Spectrum. Like, I honestly, I just want Google for, what was it, Fios? That's all I want, dude. Fios number one. Ooh. Ooh. Red teams, by the way, team comp wise, red teams should lose. I can't see why not. Like, blue teams team comp is just actually like tons of burst damage global initiation cc yeah blue team's team comp is like my wet dream they're gonna on her ult zeus ult four ult something and then just auto dies odin combo is like an extra topping at this point like daekwon could just be a cage bot and then shink ten's gonna be super annoying to deal with like i can't how the fuck is red team gonna lose what is good is that if shink ten jumps i don't know if hoppo knows maybe Maybe he doesn't, um, a Willix can actually pull Shinten during his jump. He can actually pull him. America has be by far the worst internet compared to other countries, maybe. Blue team has too much early. I don't think there's a such thing as too much early game. As long as it transitions into mid to late game pretty well. Like, I, I because I've never heard that. There's never been a situation where I'm like, that's too much early game. The only time I like I think people say that is when it doesn't transition into a mid to late game. But all of blue team literally transitions into a healthy mid to late game except Odin. Like, everything gets better on their team as, like, the game goes on. You know what I mean? And there's no hyper carries on the red team. So, I don't know. I don't, I don't see how the fuck... Like, scaling-wise and, like, you know, just going throughout the game, Nike falls off. Sobek is like, eh. Wilkes well, gets better. Uller does get better, but he's not a hyper-carry. And then Aposh is like, Aposh, you're just gonna die. So. Yay! We're in. Hopefully it doesn't... It's gonna keep dropping frames, isn't it? Damn. 
Yeah, I'm d I'll, I'll, I'll do this game and then I'll call stream because I don't know what Time Warner Cable's cucking me. They're cucking me. Oh my god, I haven't used a new spectator. Alright, let's go to assisted cam. I haven't used a new spectator yet, so like, this is the this is the first time. Like this is completely new. Wow, they did they did a pretty fucking good job. It's pretty sweet. I can't lie, it's pretty fucking cool. I like how it's like all at the bottom. I could just click. Finally, it looks a lot just cleaner overall, and it's it's pretty simple. It has everything kind of labeled. I I I dig it. I mean, I'm not gonna memorize like the hotkeys, but I fucking dig it, dude. I dig it. Are we having trouble with Sway and its servers? I don't... Uh, I'm not having too much of a problem. What's up, Bambuya? Okay, so my prediction is definitely the red team is just going to stomp out the blue team. It's not even going to be close. It's going to be a hot fucking... It's going to be destruction, really. And I think MVP, I'm calling it right now. It's either going to be Vash or Daquan. Depends on how the mid-jungle does. If mid-jungle doesn't pop off immediately, like let's say Thor just sucks, then it'd probably be Daquan. But you never know. Grey Apples actually is like pretty fucking annoying. Like I, I feel like he makes plays like on the low, but I don't want to give him credit because I want Grey Apples to just be shitty forever. Alright, let's see this shit. Item stats, graphs. Ooh, man, this looks so good and during the fight. Cool. Okay. Build what? Oh, yeah, so Director Scar, he always goes, um. What's it called? He always goes Uncommon Sash first. They obviously get outpushed here. Obviously. And they're, they're just gonna lose speed for this, which I don't know because their their push is so. Oh wait, okay, I like their start actually. The Sobek Sobek started mid, and then they did um soul lane start. Willix is now invading blue. Should be able to actually take both buffs. Depends on what they do, and they stop the invade with this as well because obviously um Uller's not gonna be able to deal with it. But it, this is actually really smart because Uller does really well dealing with the two v one. Oh. Uh, this guy could be dead. So big needs to like back the fuck up. Yeah. I'm, woo. Okay. I, I respect wannabe. I think wannabe like he basically was like, well, I'm committed. I'm fucked. Vash isn't following up. I have to fully commit. But the Sobek, he literally, I can't even believe he like stuck around with slapping him down like that. That shit's wild. And now they're actually, they're going to kill Daquan. What? Oh my god, this is already for the blue team. They actually have a pretty decent lead. Oracle's going to red team. That's wild, dude. Blaze hurt. Thanks for the Twitch Prime. I do appreciate the team once in a row. I really do. God bless. Welcome back to the church. I can't believe. On God, I really can't believe the blue team already has an early lead. That's that's crazy. Apwa should be able to actually get to a healthy mid game. Uller could deal with the 2v1 because Uller can't get zoned out in this game. There's a lot of good things for the blue team. Recognizing their comps and playing to their strengths. Like that's that's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh my god, you guys are so like not completely garbage. So other than that, it looks like uh everyone's going to standard laning phases. So we'll see if we can help out the dual lane. Actually, I, I like this. Instead of three man splitting mid, he's just uh he's soaking with Uller right now. Which I respect. He's not looking for a gank. Just get he'll put get the wave and then get purple. So maximizing experience gain. Shout out to Hotbow. He's not completely poopy. God bless. Does Poseidon ult go through Kepri ult right now? I don't think so. Can I make myself a little bit smaller? I could, but then it'll fuck up my it'll actually fuck up my camera. But there you go. You can see, like, for right now, it's Grey Apples, Flab, Daquan, Wannabe, and Vash. So I do apologize. I just gotta fuck with the camera settings. And I actually missed that kill because of that. Hotbow killed Mini Flab in the dual lane. Looks like a gank. And I, I, I like the fact that Sobek's job right now is, like, let me get Op washed in mid game. So now, Director Scar. He's probably gonna rush full Warlock Sash? I, I don't think he has enough money for it. He does not. 
went for to fight Scepter. So I wonder if he ever goes like Ethereal Staff or anything like that, but we'll see. I want to see what the red team kind of does to uh, do anything. I want to see if he decides, you know what, let's fight mid, let's get Daquan ahead. He has a lot of options, really. Nightwings, thanks for the 19 months from Lyral. Nice to see you. What's up? Nothing kind of crazy happening. Just standard early game bullshit. Oh. The gang's happening. I respect it. Immediate beads. Oh, the double tap. Oh. Wait a minute. That was it. That was something. That was legitimately something. And now Dark Discard getting the kill on to Great Apples. Vash is next. Axe. Beautiful. Blows beads. Even though Vash should have known he was dead. And Zero Raptor is credited with the kill. God! Damn, blue team is really out here destroying the early game. It, it, like, literally, you can't... Red team's early game is just better. And they play to their strengths, and... Yeah. That's actually... That's beautiful. I, I love it. They, and, and I love this pressure on dual lane. Fucking hot bow. Axe is good, but on hers all... I, I gotta take off the slow-mo. I forgot. How do I take off slow-mo again? But this this guy's dead as fuck. Zero Raptor with another kill. Damn, dude. That that is beautiful. Beautiful, me. Yeah, blue team's actually stomping. Red team. Like it's not even close. The Nike is just happily kind of farming. I think he's okay. He actually has a, a level lead here, so good for him. The Mistborn. Just contending with Mr. Quan. Daquan's going to have to rotate probably a lot to help the red team out now. It really depends on how they utilize maybe Zeus Odin. But, um... Uh, it, it sucks he missed the pluck there. Actually could have set up for something. But, uh... Yeah, there's the uh, Shing Ten ult. Sobek should be able to get out. Nice pull! Recognizing bees were down. And Vash gets caught. That was amazing. Thor actually up in the air. I want to I know who he lands on. Oh, direct to Scar. Best choice. Great defensive ult, though. Like, covering all options. Even If Thor even... Commits here, which he did. I mean, granted, they pick up Director Scar, but I can't believe I, they would have been able to kill him if the Thor didn't commit. The, the decision making on Thor right now is uh, questionable. Very questionable. I don't know how I feel about that. That shit was like not okay. So, yeah, that, I don't, I don't know what to say. But uh, at least that's two kills on the side of Mr. Quan, which will help him get ahead in his landing phase. He always seems to pick up these kills. I mean, he's the level down still, but he's he's good on that. I don't know why. Thor's decision making, realistically, right now, he's just be a little bit conservative. Feel like he's just too gun ho, going for like the super hot plays. I actually don't know the Nike versus Odin matchup. I would imagine that, like, Nike has the potential. O Odin, I feel, maybe when he gets Breastplate done, like, that's it. Like, like because he'll have shield up, like, all the time. I like the pluck. I appreciate the pluck, at least. Depends on how, like, they... Alright, the dive. The oh, I like the knockup to a Will Exalt. That's cute. And there's nothing Daquan can do. Three-man gank. No Gold Fury attempt either, because... On her backed, which the on her's 0 and 2, sadly. He's not going to actually be able to do anything. And then Vash actually might get caught here. Now that he's at half health, there's no way the Thor can fight them on, her own, on their own. Yeah. I really can't believe. I can't believe the blue team is like destroying them. That's too fucking funny. It should be sub only. I don't have enough subs. When I get more subs. I just, I just, I'm pretty sure I don't have enough subs to even, ha like, fill up a full game. So, that's why I'm doing, like, sub viewer games. Like, I may be fried, Mario, but Aladdin was always winning. Alright. I wouldn't even know, if I was the red team, how to transition into this. I wouldn't even know. It really depends on the Thor. And maybe Daquan rotations for objectives, too. Like, if Daquan rotated, like, killed Uller. 
And then, um, they all just, like, you know, 5v4 did gold. Oh my god, that axe was beautiful. Forces the beads. Yeah, you, you best be running on her. You can't... Nothing on the... Very, very late jump. Fight happening over here. Looks like the focus is... Opwash. Vash is coming in. And he should be able to clean that up. Even... Yeah. Zeus all... Now, Sobix the target. Willix wasn't there. They shouldn't have taken the fight. But I think Direct Scar got caught out. Yeah, I know. Zero Raptor made a very bad choice. Detonate. And now, actually, it's turning around. I mean, like, Zero Raptor just made fucking a terrible decision to fight into that. Yo, Penguin, Penguin Aaron, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime subscribe. Welcome back to the church. God bless, dude. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, they're going to stop gold, but... Yeah, I don't think they'll actually be able to do anything. They need to kill Vash, really. Vash is such a big target. I, I I actually respect what the Mistborn's doing. So, Mistborn, he is basically... Delaying them with his tankiness, which is, like, beautiful. He actually went Breastplate first, Nike, into Boots. I, no comment. With, with Death's Toll Nike, when Bluestone... Wait, what the fuck? Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. He went Death's Toll, Breastplate, into Boots. Weird, but it, I, I mean, it's working for him, so I guess I can't say too much. That's, that is weird as fuck, dude. Yo, Kanor, thanks for the 13 months, by the way. I do appreciate it. God bless. Welcome back to the church. I respect this plan. They could actually, they could frag his shit. Depending on how he plays it. There's the stun, and he's dead. Going to direct a scar as well. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Direct scar is just he's doing good. I mean, like, even though he's died twice from getting caught out, he's four and two. So I respect it. I fucking respect it. Zero Raptor's playing like a beast. He's uh he has complete pressure on her, and he's playing the Uliverse on her matchup. It like probably the best I've seen. Yeah, I don't even honor is just taking free poke. Alright, Zero Raptor, you gotta hit those. But Thor's actually in the air. Zero Raptor might Nah, no, there's no way. He's not dead. In fact, Thor just wasted ult there. Yeah, forced to actually back away. Death Toll works on Nike because of cleaves. Yeah, I guess. I just probably I think most people would have went blue stone. But it's whatever. Oh my god. Hammer down, wanna be down. Hot bow. Coming up from behind with the flank. I love it. Might actually kill. Oh, Daquan's gonna kill him for sure. I respect the ult there, just in case. So, but maybe he didn't know the cooldowns were coming up. Also, it gives him a stack of passive. So, I respect the ult. Daquan actually not gonna be able to carry this game. <laughs> There's no way. Not by himself, at least. He has to get his team back in there. But Gold Fury actually being started up yet again. But they reset it. They don't have anyone to tank it. And here's uh, a big problem with Transcendence. Because on her went Trans, right? Instead of uh, Diva Gloves. Which isn't like necessarily the worst thing in the world or anything. Uh, no one's going to be able to tank it. Look, they keep resetting. The fight's happening. Great Apples gets caught. And that's it. Willix actually hops out of there. And then the Opwash ult just to make sure they don't chase. Like, like God bless. Yo, Aggro, 15 months in a row. Welcome back to the church, baby. I do appreciate it. Okay, Thor's trolling. I don't, it looks like he's just making really bad plays, bros. I don't think it's uh, so much trolling. His decision making is uh, it's questionable. That's all I could say, really. I don't know about the behind tier 2 farming, but he should be able to get away with it with his build. There's no way Thor is actually going to be able to deal with that kind of pressure. The Yadimo. Thank you so much for subscribing. By the way, guys. Um, if I do get more subs, for sure, um, next time I stream, I will actually do legitimate sub games, um, you know, with prizes and everything. We'll still do this game, but I'm going to get off because I keep dropping frames, and it's, uh, it's very frustrating as a streamer to, to stream while you're dropping frames. So, I'll just bring it back later. Hopefully, uh, Spectrum or Time Warner Cable won't, uh, fuck me out of that. I like the patience there, the flip, the Willix ult. Everything there was beautiful. Like, Flab actually made such a beautiful play. I mean, not Flab. Uh, Flab just got super fucking baited. Like, he pre-beads, which was, like, smart thing to do. Probably, like, if the subic didn't have patience. But the patience there out of 
Armstead was beautiful. Like, God bless his soul. So he he played that that was that was excellent. I like it. I like it. I like it. He could actually just turn on gray apples. How he, like if he just jumps in right now? I don't think he has. No, yeah, I don't think he has vision. I mean, red team has like 18 wards on uh, the left side of the map, so he's not too sure whether they're going. And yeah, I don't know. Let's switch it up. bro, I don't even know what the fuck gray apples was trying to do there. Like, it was obviously like a losing one v one, and he just stayed there, just. Right? <laughs> like I don't even know what to fucking say. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Like that's just bad. That's just a bad play. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> that was just a bad play. Vash is just kind of feeling the effects of a losing early game. Zeus, it's like the worst feeling. And he went Bancroft, so he's super easy to fucking kill. Oh man, this this shit is wild. Blue team get the gold fury. 14 minutes in the game. Blue team is up like, like fucking a million gold. Jesus Christ, man. Oh my God. All right. How do you miss that hot bow? But uh, it should be an easy one v one. Oh, the sanctuary. Oh, and he missed the Thor ult too. Uh, you guys' mechanics need. To, we need to work on this shit. Cause if if hot bow is out mechanics and people, when hot bow has the mechanics of a dead squirrel. Forget about it, but yeah, the wannabe. Another bad decision out of Thor. Missed the ult. Flav, Flav got shit on though. I will say, Flav, he shouldn't have taken that one v one. That was just a bad one v one to take. The jump in place was not clean. Would have forced the beads anyway. But Hoppo has the reaction time of an Xbox player, so of course you know he's like, huh, no, nah, no. Nah. So yeah, he was actually wasn't able to do anything. But um. Yeah, I don't know. I, I I can't. The red team shouldn't win this game. I think skill wise, the blue team is just better. We'll see. We will see as a fight happens in the mid lane. Gray apples to target. He gets caught. I assume his jumps down, and they're committing, and he should be on the dead side. I think the tick here. No, no. I'm sorry, zero after gets the kill. He actually is Dracoing. Jumps in and now he's just dead as fuck. No way the phantom super clutch there Wow, who was that who has phantom? Oh, let's get a huge shout out to our Sovac. He, dude. He listened to Armstead Phantom zero wrapped at the last moment when he should have been dead that that would piss me off the Thor I think he just sanctuary there couldn't actually see Able to get up but tier one's going down for sure A play like that like that was beautiful. God damn I can't even believe that Phantom. That was so clutch. That shit was so clutch. Thor ult actually missing, missing Hot Bow. They, they're really committing to this actually because Hot Bow's dead. I respect it. He gets the shutdown. He's dead for it. But I think that's that that's more beneficial for him. Trading the shutdown for the kill there because he's pretty much practically useless. I love it. I love it. The double cage in Phantom down. Odin cage is up. The Zeus chain lightning actually hitting the director scar. Looks like he's the focus. If he gets out of here, all right. I was about to say. I mean, they committed. They committed over here to uh, Portal Demon, but overall that was a three for like nothing trade. Sadly, there's no other objective up. Gray apples overstaying his welcome, and now he's. Yeah. I think he thinks he's way tankier than he really is, so he's getting Draco'd right now. Poor Grey Apples, Ripperino. Like, I, I respect the cockiness out of him, but you can't be 0-6 and, and cocky. Like, you could be 0-0 and 0 cocky, and just be like, yeah, I'm tanky. I'm Shank 10, because I do that all the time, but um, you can't be, like, on your feed shit and just be like, yeah, like, I'm, I'm cocky. Yeah, Grey Apples is a girl. Until further notice. Grey Apples is a girl. A cocky girl. Cocky. Hotvo. Actually being cocky. He could take this 2v1. Depends how they play it, but um... The jump away. I think Thor is actually going in. 
Mrs. the Thor. Oh, oh. Bro, how is he not in... How the fuck was Hotbo not in combat to like blink away there? Like what? He was dead. He was actually dead. Like I don't I don't get that. I that I'm done. Yo, this blink shit is actually wild. Oh my god, the pull. Love the will exalt. And then Hoppo actually might be able to kill here. Depends on how hard he's committed. I mean, Zeus is right there. Alright. Hoppo on Suku. Hot. I love the jump there. Oh, Great Apples might be able to get the kill here. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Not actually able to do anything. Great Apples credit with the kill. Hoppo just went way too greedy there. He overcommitted on Odin, but Odin's like super tanky. Once he saw Zeus, he should just back the fuck up. But uh, that's an Xbox... Decision making right there. You know what I'm saying, boys? But yeah, now they actually have to back up now because, uh, because of that play. Which is actually wild. So they should be able to get gold here. But, um, it's actually wild that the red team is keeping in this because they could still realistically come back. Like, I don't see it happening, but it can happen. So, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Speaking of with, we, which we haven't talked about the Mistborn much, but he's actually like, he's like the silent fucking stonewall tank. He's just really tanky. He went to Jotun's Wrath, so he actually has full CDR, and he's just probably slapping down people. I, I just realized the Thor's level 16, his farm game. Mm. I see. He's actually above Day 1. For some reason, the Thor... Is, is he like stealing waves? How the fuck is his experience so high? What the fuck? I'm so confused because he's dying a lot, but he's farming. I guess he's just split pushing. Uh, maybe that's why they're saying like he's he's uh trolling. But yeah, uh, Direct Discard should have sanctuary way earlier. But I guess because he was combo videoed, he couldn't do it. But uh, oh my, Grand Apple's down. I uh, Thor actually might be just, just killed. Direct Discard has no fucking clue. Why did he? Why? Hoppo actually getting caught out speed. Nice. No way. He just catches him. <laughs> Oh my god, I was gonna say, what the fuck? Oh, he's gonna get away. All oh, the axe is clean. Oh my god, he was taunting and he gets caught out. Now, it's like a, it's like the chain effect of taunting. Holy shit. Yo, totally. Thanks for 26 months in a row. Welcome back to the church, baby. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's funny as fuck, bro. That's so fucking funny. Daquan, alright, there's the Phantom. Yeah, he's not actually able to commit there. Not able to commit. Yeah, the Mistborn's not doing anything special. He's just farming, rotating, responding to calls. Like, like the Mistborn's doing like a soul lane, like... He's like the silent wonder right now. Like, I, I never see him, like, do anything crazy. He's just there for support. God bless the Mistborn. God bless, dude. Uh, Direct Scar getting caught yet again. But that's Shing 10 ult down for free. I mean, it blow uh, not for free. They blow beads. Oh, Vash getting caught though. He's actually, he doesn't have anything to stay alive. There's the Sanctuary. And he's still alive somehow, but no, he's able to bait. Sadly, they couldn't really translate anything with the bait there. Thor doesn't get anything clean. 
I respect the split push right now. That's honestly the red team's only way of like getting back into the game. They need this tier two here, but oh my god, they actually might kill Hoppo. No, he doesn't have any abilities up. Daquan gets the kill. Hotbow overstays his welcome. And meanwhile, the red team's still pushing. Like, he could go for Phoenix. It depends. He, oh, Daquan's not actually able to keep him back. Oh, man. He probably could have gone for Phoenix if he just, like, fucked with them, like, the whole time. I think he could have. I could have uh, went for it. But, uh, yeah. Lack of communication there, really. And probably awareness because, like, you know, when you're in the middle of a team fight, you're not exactly paying attention to all aspects. You're paying attention to things that, like, matter. You know, like, the, the person in front of you, their abilities, when their cooldowns are coming up and shit. So you're probably not paying attention to the motherfucker split pushing. Like, can he get the Phoenix? Like, that's probably, like, the last thing in your mind. Because that's what it usually is for me. It's like, oh, shit, the team fight's over, but we're losing a Phoenix. Fuck. Can I show damage? Yeah, sure. We can take a look at the damage. What's been happening so far? Whoa, Hoppo on top. The Thor's actually doing a crazy amount of damage. I'm really surprised. For how much shit he's missed this game, he is top damage for his team. Uh, you, you think it'd be Vash, but I feel like he's not getting the proper support to really go into these team fights and frag out. But uh, it's hard with Zeus. There's the initiation. Thor's definitely going to come in. Couple of missed abilities, nothing crazy. Daquan's in. There's the Apwa shot, which I respected. Oh my god! Three man Shing Ten all forcing the back away, but Vash is getting chased out. There's the jump in from Willix. Jump in from Nike too. Yeah, actually jump away. And yeah, quickly turned fight. Whoa, the knock up though. They might actually be able to kill Grey Apples. Vash free attacking. Oh, Director Scar almost able to actually get out. Vash still slapping down people. I can't see... Yeah, there's no way the Wilk should be able to commit here. He's just jumping away. Okay, meanwhile on the left side... Yeah, he's really... He's committed to this Phoenix. Flab actually helping this team with this indirect pressure. He's just like, you know what, bros? Alright, you guys can do what you want, but... Ooh, forcing the beads though, that's... That's not good on him. He could have probably just taken it and just jumped away. Because there's no way with this Nike build that he's actually going to be able to uh, 1v1 this on her. But uh, I don't know why he's overstaying his welcome. Like, it's uh, like obviously people have respawned now. And Flab is dead. Oh, and he missed it. And he's turning around. Oh, yeah. No, that was just, that was just bad. That was just really bad. And now red team... All at half health. I don't know why they're pushing tier 2. They're not going to be able to. They could wipe here. Depends on Sobek. How hard he commits. Alright, yeah, he missed. He should have went for Vash there. Because obviously Zeus has no escape. And I'm pretty sure he didn't have any beads. Overall poor decision making. You guys fucking suck. My viewers suck. That's that's all I can say. Like That shit was fucking disgusting. <laughs> that shit was just bad, baby. That shit was bad. Honor has the lowest damage because he's been committing to split pushing the whole game. I wonder if I was Zero Raptor, realistically, if he's getting split push, the blue team seemed to have no problem with kind of dealing. I would just 1v1 the Honor over and over and over and over again. Which he could. Even with this build, he went to full penetration build. You're going to see like you see the Kins, Aussie, Titan Spain. Tons of penetration. A lot of attack speed. Titan Spain, Transcendence. Yeah, like he's going to be hitting hard. But um, a crit build, it depends. Yeah, he's going to full penetration build as well. But a crit build is what you generally want if you're going for the hot 1v1s. I, I don't know. I think I would just take the 1v1 over and over and over again. Meanwhile, ha yeah, Hoppo just got fucking erased. Honestly, Hoppo's throwing the, the game for his team a little bit here. Just keeps getting picked off. And now, yep, here we go. Flav's, he's like, you know what? My team's winning again. Oh, uh, it's time to kill. It's time to kill. And Direct the Scar getting caught out. The Apollo Shelf to peel. Okay, I respect it. They might actually go in. It really depends. 
Nike is not doing that much damage. Like at this point, Nike has 100% fallen off. He's just a frontline force, but this is the pick they need, Vash. But there's no follow-up damage. Aposh already used his abilities. They're not going to be able to kill. Now the Richard Scar is out of position. Odin Cage is back up because it's like a two-second cooldown. And overall, what could have been a good play was not. And, it, and this all happened. This is the trickle effect that happened because Hotbow got caught earlier for no fucking reason. So now... And Armstead's dead. Blue team's effectively thrown. The 1v1's going down, which I respect. Flab getting fucking blasted. Aussie proc though, but he's an ult, so he's not actually able to get it. Hoppo's there for the cleanup, and Zeraptor runs the 1v1. Okay. Fair enough. Which Flab already has shown that he's very shitty at the 1v1. Like, no offense to Flab or anything. Maybe he's Europe. I think he's your your playing on this ping, but yeah, like he's he's been losing the 1v1 to Zeraptor all game. The oh, boom. What? They turned it? I can't even believe- I, I was shocked that he went in- How the f- Wh What is happening? Nah, miss me on that shit. Like- <laughs> Miss me on that shit. How the fuck- I he he really baited them, and it worked like that was just a really bad Thoral, and uh, it worked out for him. So, but uh, I will give it. Wanna be two is actually carrying the game. Like his Thor mechanics are like hot poo poo, but wanna be wanna be Thor is fu he's top damage. He is really is fragging in these team fights. Like, and uh, forty five blue team has literally. I mean, the, the red, yeah, red team has a, like a 3k lead now. I only, only in these kind of fucking games, dude. I, I, I've, I've never seen it. This is it, dude. Like, I can't even. I'm shocked. Meanwhile, I just solo and gold fury. You could tell this on her just went completely. He's like, I don't have a team. I'm um, split pushing. Yeah, the red team's like, all right, bro. This is the one time you should group up because we have fire giant. I wonder if he'll listen. Flav is just not listening. It. Because here's the test. He has to listen. All he has to do is just group up with his team. Well, fuck his shit up. Yeah, they're even pinging. They're like, all right. Like, just. Just literally, just group up. Is Flav gonna listen? Aww. Ooh! Oh my god, he might catch him. Bro, he can't move! Bro, if he committed there, I, I don't think he realized that he was body blocked then. That at Willux was fucked. Meanwhile, they're like pushing still. I don't know why he's not even grouping up. They should just group up. They're just winning the fight. It depends. He's going for the 1v1 over here. Team fight's happening over here. We'll watch the team fight instead. More action. And oh my god, Zeraptor getting super caught up with Great Sanctuary. Oh my god, the chain lightning's going to kill Zeraptor. He's axing, he's axing, but there's no detonate. No detonate happening there. Where Apple's a little poked out, and oh, that, that double tap was clean as fuck. And meanwhile, Flab is actually still split pushing. Even his team is like, what the fuck are you doing? You are garbage. Just just get over here. And Flav's like, but back harpies. <laughs> he's like, eh. Oh, I, I, I appreciate both. Great ults. Alright, 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 alright. I, oh my god. Oh, I almost got fucking cancer from that. I almost got cancer from that shit. I saw Hotbow missing auto attacks, and I'm like, bro, he's definitely playing with a controller. Definitely playing with a controller. Granted, Flab could have played that way better. That shit was just ugly, baby. Holy shit, that was a stressful 1v1. But Red Team, they at least got a Phoenix out of it. Two towers. Not bad. Throw up in the air. I respect this. 
He's probably he could probably Draco hop, but it depends. But it looks like he's not. I okay, so it was a zoning alt, dude. Why? So it's funny because the red team was like Thor's Thor's trolling. He's actually just carrying you guys. Like, like this guy is just wanna be literally is just like put the team on my back. I mean, granted, his decision making mechanics are like like miss me on that. But like uh, like everything else has been okay. Like you know his team fighting, um. His ability to not die immediately, like things like that, has been, has been. Wait, now he's here. Flab doesn't make any sense. I'm so confused. Now he's like, all right, it's time to group up. But Fire Giant's over, so now. I, I. Why is he here now? He doesn't even have to come. This is like the time when you like don't, you know, if you're gonna split push. I mean, granted, it's gonna work. They're still gonna win the team fight, but. I love the Odin cage here, catching him. He doesn't have a jump zero after. Doesn't look like he has actives. Oh my god. Great Apple's credit with the kill. Nike is forced out. And really, this I guess this is the issue with Nike. Just falls off by mid to late game. He hasn't really done anything. Meanwhile, Hoppo. Hoppo's still in. What the fuck? Hello, Hoppo? Yeah, he's dead as fuck. Alright, they catch him. Meanwhile, Great Apple's zoning out the squadron. Now they should be able to just push mid. I'm so confused. Why does he choose... Why does he choose now to like... Wait, what is he? Okay, put a warn. Wait. No, no, no. Go. Bro! I'm <laughs> Thor's up in the air actually. He could he could probably I'm calling it direct to scar kill him. Kill him right now. Wait, where'd he go? Bro, wasn't he just in the air? How the fuck did he No I don't know what the fuck? Black magic is that shit. Alright, they should just get FG S5 and like that's it. Because if he doesn't just come to FG with two phoenixes down, like, there's no hope. There's no hope at all. There is no hope. Yeah, Alright, he's, he's tanking Fire Giant respectively, granted the S Fate Talents, easy mode. Okay. I still can't believe the blue team threw this shit. I can't believe this shit. The blue team threw this game so hard. I'm, I'm imagining that the blue team loses because... Yeah, I... All right. Yeah, you know they're like, come, on, come on, bro. Like, blue buff doesn't fucking matter. Man. I, I, I respect the beats. The pre beats catching zero after zero after completely caught. Dracoed. That's it, dude. Vash getting zoned out by two. They should really. Where the fuck is on her? All right. Well, the the phoenix is a respawn. They should really even get this without his DPS. Catching hot bow. He's forced away. Yeah, no, there's no way. This game's over as fuck, bro. There's the Zeus ult. I respect it. I res I can't even believe this shit. I can't believe the red team won. I'm shocked. Legitimately shocked. You guys are fucking terrible. <laughs> You're all just terrible. <laughs> You're just... <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna put in straw poll in chat. Just who was MVP? Because I'm so glad I don't have to do this. Because like in my opinion, everyone was just terrible. Like holy shit! Let me put in the poll option, and then I'll give gems after, and then I'm getting off because um, I'm dropping frames. I'm sorry. Hold on, you guys have to vote. You guys will you guys will vote as soon as I'm done. Daquan Odin, okay. Creating the poll as we speak. Bam. 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 You stop dropping? Really? It shows that I still am dropping, but whatever, dude. 
I'll do one more then. Let me know who's MVP so I know who to actually uh give the gems to. Mini flat? Am I really giving this to the fucking on her? There's no way, dude. Why is Mini Flab winning? You guys are cancer. <laughs> Why am I giving Mini Flab these gems? Bro. Bro, you guys fuck even this up. You guys are AIDS. All right, well, Mini Flab, congratulations on the 400 gems, bro. Because uh, let me let me write this down because your name is all fucking European or some shit. <laughs>